Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Zolicious Cooking Series. Now we are still on with our pepper soup series edition and I'm about to show you how to make one very mouth-watering pepper soup recipe. <laughs> how to make a sauteed meat pepper soup. Uh, <laughs> one of my absolute favorites. Let me introduce you to the ingredients. For this recipe, you need 10 bite-sized pieces of snail, 10 bite-sized pieces of tripe, also known as shaki, 10 bite-sized pieces of liver, 10 bite-sized pieces of intestine, also known as roundabout, 10 bite-sized pieces of gizzard, 10 bite-sized pieces of beef, two tablespoons of pepper soup spice, two seasoning cubes, one medium-sized onion bulb, three garlic cloves, one tablespoon of ground chili pepper, four cups of beef stock, eight pieces of scent leaves, and some salt to taste. Okay, so guys, let's get right into the cooking process. This is going to be a really speedy one, and I'm going to show you how in a bit. Now, over here, I already have my pot heating up on medium heat. What I'm going to do right now is transfer all of my meats. Now I'm using a variety of assorted meats for this recipe. I'm using beef, I'm using gizzard, I'm using some tripe, also known as shaki. I'm using something that we call roundabout in Nigeria. I don't know what it's called over there. I'm using liver and I'm using some snails as well. Now you can use whatever um, variety of assorted meats you prefer. You can use turkey, chicken, whatever it is you like. Just go wild, okay? So I'm going to start with the uh, meat that takes longer to cook. I cut all of them into really bite-sized chunks. So it's going to be faster to cook and when, um, when anyone is having, it's easier for your diners to have a good eating experience when it's cut into bite-sized chunks. Okay, so I'm going to start with the tripe. It actually seems to be the hardest. Everything is going to go in then. The gizzard will go in as well. The beef is going to go in as well. And the snail will go in as well. This will take longer to cook. So, they go in first. Remember to cut them in bite-sized chunks. It will also help um, cook it evenly and cook it in at the same time, okay? So in here, I'm also going to throw in some pepper blend mix. In this mix, I have some scotch bonnet peppers, I have the red and the yellow ones, and I have onions, and of course, I have garlic. I can't cook anything without garlic. So everything is just going to go in. This is pepper soup, remember? So everything is just going to go right in. And I'm going to give this a stir to combine. Now, I'm not going to put any liquid into my pot at all. I'll just stir this together, reduce my heat to the lowest, and allow the meat to, be, to release its natural fluid. Now, meat contains, I know the beef has a lot of um, water content in them, as well as um, the shaki. So, I'm just going to let them release the natural fluid, and I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so let's check. This has been cooking for about 15 minutes. Now, look as you can see, all of the liquid content in the pot. I didn't add a single liquid in here. This is from the mix. So you always want to do allow it to just release its natural, um, its natural liquid. That way, it actually helps flavor the um, the meat better. Okay. So it's time to bring in the beef stock. Now you can use water if you do not have beef stock, but I always like to use beef stock. It always comes out more flavorful. You know that I'm all about making my dishes very flavorful. Remember, it's pepper soup, so a lot of liquid has to go into the pots to help make the base for the entire pepper soup. <laughs> and I think I'm going to add more of my beef stock. So about five cups of beef stock and to this I'm going to add some beef seasoning this is just some beef stock cube I'm going to scatter that around and I'm also going to throw in some fresh sorry some ground chili pepper it's pepper soup guys it's just normal that I use ground chili pepper and of course I'm going to throw in some pepper soup spice this is store-bought I actually bought it from the local market and quite popular spice to purchase so everything is going to go in and finally I'm just going to sprinkle some salt just all around enough just to taste everything is fine and I'm going to stir 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 oh this is already looking so good and so yummy 
Now this is actually my favorite pepper soup recipe. Do you know why? It has a variety of meat and it has some of my favorite meats to eat. Like it has the snail, it has the gizzard. Those two are actually one of my two of my favorite meats. And then it has beef, it has liver. It's just amazing. You get a variety of every kind of meat. And you can add, remember I said you can add whatever it is you like. So let's just leave this to simmer away for another 25 to 30 minutes or until all of the meats are tender. Now you want your meat to be super tender. It's, um, it creates a better eating experience, okay? So let's just reduce our heat to medium low and allow it to simmer gently for about 25 to 30 minutes and then I'll come back and show you what goes in next, okay? Okay, so guys, this has been cooking for about 30 minutes now. What I'm going to do next is bring in the liver and this thing called roundabout. Does it have an is that the English name? In Nigeria, it's called roundabout. <laughs> I don't know if that's the English name for it. It doesn't really take so much time to cook. About um, 10, 8 to 10 minutes and it's done. So it's a liver and roundabout that I've gone in next and give it a further 8 to 10 minutes to cook completely. And then while it is cooking, I'll just come over here and I'll just chop up some scent leaves that's going to go into the pot next. Okay, so let me just check on this. I like the way it's simmering so nicely and gently. I need to taste the salt to see if I need to add any more salt. Oops! And just a little sprinkle. A little. And I'm just going to also go ahead and throw in all of the chopped scent leaves. Now this is going to give this some nice vibrant taste. I'll stir it all together and this assorted coffee pepper soup is that's good. That's done. So a few things to note when you're making your assorted meat pepper soup is ensure if you're using different varieties of meat, ensure that the harder meat, the tougher ones go in first and then the softer one going afterwards. Like leave the harder ones to cook for a while before putting in the softer ones so everything will be um, top tender at the same time. And for a better eating experience, ensure that all of your meat pieces are super tender. It is sweeter and more enjoyable and more satisfactory to actually cook your assorted meat that way, okay? Let me just have one final taste just from the port. I'm gonna have a few beautiful time. It's just perfect. It's perfect for the cold weather. Now you can you know what to, the comfort food you can go for when you want to get some warmth into your body and have a good time with your family and friends and if you're ever going to recreate this recipe please kindly send me your pictures on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook I'm there at Delicious Foods I love to see your creations so I'll see you again next month with another recipe series until then remember to be kind to one another and love yourself generously okay take care guys and happy new month in advance